What is going on guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. Um, last episode kind of gave you guys just a little bit of an update what was going on, why the schedule was a bit up and down and a bit all over the place and yeah, um, you guys seem to understand, that's why I love you guys, you always understand when I tell you what's going on, you're like Biggs don't worry about it, you can do whatever you want, we'll wait, blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> they all say that and I really really do it appreciate it guys it does mean a lot but we're back we're back on schedule with my wednesday episodes and i know again guys it's late you guys should know me by now i'm always late like every live stream i am late every single week but yep yeah, i've just been so so busy today it's been crazy um I've been really busy at work today because they've got like a conference coming up and they need a lot of stuff finished before the conference because they have like banners and this backing board and stuff for my work and I'm the one that's got to design it so yep I've been really busy with that and yeah so this is a little bit late today it's 8.44 right now and yeah so it'll be up after that time after you're watching it. But guys, like I promised in the last episode, I have been a busy boy. I dug out some of this down here. Um, this is where the storage room is going to go. I plan for this area to be a lot bigger than what it actually is. Um, I just wanted to see that what was down here. See if there's any cave openings or anything. See if I got lucky. Should I grab this? Oh, I've got no inventory space. Because I did run back to my house and got a load of stuff which I'm going to need. So, um, I bought an enchanting table because I, I want to do an enchant, but I just realized I've got no books <laughs> so that's not gonna be any good I can't get a high level but I have been doing some other stuff as well let me run around my little corridor and I done all this I dug this out and I dug out three rooms I might put another room there I'm not sure what it's going to be though uh, maybe you guys can give me some suggestions what you want it to be um, but I, I like this kind of open plan feel this is what I want to go for because it is a modern house so I want it to be kind of open plan so this bit here I'm thinking this little section here is going to be like a seating area, living room, probably put like a TV on that wall there. Um, still not sure whether I'm going to bring this down. I, I might do, I might not. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, over here is going to be the kitchen. I'm pretty sure of it because I want the kitchen area to be kind of big. I want it to be like a big island in the middle here. Um, and this, I'm thinking this little awkward area here could probably just be like a pantry area and I could just put shelves up or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, but uh, another room. So I'm going to have a living room there and then kitchen here. This room over here is probably going to be my bedroom, I think. I'm going to put a bed and stuff in there. And this room here, I don't know what I'm going to make it yet. Like I said, um, storage room, enchantment table and all stuff. All the stuff that I need to use is going to be downstairs in the basement, I think. But upstairs, I like, um, I, like I told you guys, it's just going to be, just just be for show, uh, make it look good. I haven't done any furnishing in such a long time. Last one I did was a fireplace video, and <laughs> I haven't built in a long time. You guys are like, always telling me that. Um, some guy commented the other day on my video, telling me that um, you never build anymore, you haven't built in over a year. And I think he was just talking about let's builds, because... I build quite a lot on my LP, like I built this house, I built my mountain house which took forever, so yeah, I'm not sure what he's talking about, but I I, I don't know what it is guys we're building, I just kind of, you, you kind of like to mix it up a little bit, if you build too much then, well especially with me, I know if I build too much I kind of run out of ideas really quickly, so I kind of like to refresh myself, catch up with like different styles and stuff like that. But yeah, these are the plans for this area, guys. What I'm doing here, I just want to test what it looks like with uh, with it going down. But I don't know what room that's going to be, so make some suggestions if you want to uh, what you, what you want to see in this area here. It could be another room, similar size to this. Just put another room there. Um, yeah, so let's test this bit out. I'm gonna put. I'm running that space. I need another chest. Have I got any wood left in my? Yeah, I have. Let's do this. I want two of you. Let's throw you out a second. And then we will place this down. Definitely run out of space up here. Uh, place you here. And then we will just empty all of this in here. This is going to be my furnishing chest. Even though it's probably going to need to move in a second. Because this is where I need to build the kitchen. That was great. But let's do this. And I want to make some stairs to see what it looks like. Right. Let me show you the little idea I had. Of... The, with it going down slightly, Let's make two lots of these like this, and then bam, 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 like that. 
So we could have it like this and then that make, I like that actually. <gasps> no, am I going to have to dig out this whole floor again? I like that. <laughs> I should have tried this before, shouldn't I? Oh, could, this could be a digging out episode. <laughs> I have got a fast pick though. Let's test it. Let's test this. I think I'm going to like this. Damn it. Oh. Someone su suggested a half block floor. Ugh, half block floor gives me headaches. <laughs> They're so difficult to furnish. They give me headaches. I can do it. It's just, it just can get annoying. I like that. I like it. Damn it. Why do I have to like it? <laughs> now I've got to get rid of all this. Maybe, um, let's, yeah, let's just get rid of it, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I like this, but, um, where's my food? I need my food. Uh, where are you? Oh, I ain't got a lot. Oh, you need to go in there. And you, and you. Brilliant. Right, guys, like I was saying at the start, I've just been really, really busy, uh, especially with the server. Like, Every day after work, I pretty much go on the fan server to try and get creative mode finished for you guys. Um, the plan is, and I don't know if I said this in my last episode, I always forget. But the plan is to have creative, uh, to have creative mode up for Saturday. So when I live stream on Saturday, it will probably be the first time creative world is open. Um, if you do miss the live stream or you don't watch the live streams, I will do a video about it too to let you know that it is open. Um... Yeah, uh, we've just been putting a lot of work into it, trying to get it finished as soon as possible. But it's, it's going to be really good, guys. I honestly can't wait for you, all of you to see it. But that's that's basically what's been keeping me busy. Uh, you can ask Sai that as well, because she gets annoyed when I'm constantly on the fan server just trying to get it finished. But yeah, that's been keeping me really busy. Get home from work. I do that to make sure I want... I'm, oh, damn it. No, that's not bad. I was just thinking this is a roof to that part there. I can just still bring it down one. Yeah, I get home from work. I because I, I get straight on the fan server just to make sure that it's finished as soon as possible. I make sure every day that I do a little bit every day just to. I, I like to know that I've horse. What are you doing? I like to know that I've made some progress. You know, in a day, um, on the fan server. So I make sure I do a little bit all the time. Um, but yeah, just going back, going to work and stuff like that, it just keeps you really busy. And I know a lot of you guys are going back to school and stuff now, uh, um, <coughs> after the Christmas and New Year's holidays. And what, what's it like going back to school, guys? Are you enjoying it? Is it, is it fun? When I was at school, I loved the holidays. I think every kid when they're at school, they love the holidays. They love, they love, um... It's being off school. It's really fun. And I, I did too. I was one of them kids that when I was younger, I always played out the front. We called it playing out, but I don't know what you call it in America or something like that. But just going out the front of your house and just playing with all the kids in, in the area or in the neighborhood. I used to do that all the time. And when it came to that stage of going back to school, I couldn't. I, I was dreading it. I was like, no, I don't want to go back to school. Um, when I was at school, I wasn't kind of... I, I wouldn't say I was the smartest kid. I was always that kid that wanted to joke around that was me i always wanted to joke always wanted to make people laugh all, always that's all i ever did at school and if you if you go back and read some of like <laughs> my school reports they're, they're so funny i showed si them some of them actually when she was here and um it's, it's just hilarious like my majority of them say ricky has potential he he can achieve a lot but he just needs to focus he needs to stop being the class clown and stuff like that. That was me at school. I was basically that kid. I didn't really enjoy school. Not not for any reason in particular. Like I'm not saying like I got bullied or anything. I never ever got bullied. And I was talking to this uh, desire earlier. I never ever got bullied. I never experienced it. I never witnessed anyone getting bullied. It was it was um, where where I went to school. There wasn't really much bullying or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I I didn't really enjoy it. I don't think I really enjoyed, I don't know, the way school was, if you know what I mean. Like, I loved being at school for my friends. And when I look back at school now, I, I loved my days at school. Like, when I, I think now, I think, oh, when I was at school, it was amazing. I loved being at school. I loved, I loved the way... Um, 
<clears throat> I love how it was at school when you could just see your friends every day. I look back at that now and that's what I think. But when I was at school, I used to dread going to school. Like, oh, I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. It's fake being ill and stuff like that. Just for, uh, just, there's no particular reason why. It wasn't the reason why I didn't want to go. I just didn't want to go. Just didn't really enjoy it. The only part of it I enjoyed was break time <laughs> when I get to play football with my friends and that was it. Lessons and stuff, didn't really enjoy them. Um, I don't know what it was. I personally, I look back now and I think like maybe it's it's the way I was taught or something. I don't know. I just I don't. Lessons were not fun for me. I only lesson I really enjoyed was was P, was PE. That's the only lesson I really enjoyed. And um, I, I I look back now and I feel like schools never really emphasised when someone was really good at something. Like in my opinion, when I was at school, a lot of schools might be different now, but. Like, for example, I really like sports and PE. And, like, I was better at sports and all that kind of stuff than I was maths, English, and all that. Um, I, I was much better at them subjects, but I never, ever got kind of, like, pushed in that area by any teachers. It was always kind of, you need to know English, math, science, that's it. That's the only ones you need to do. If you're good at other stuff, well done, but they're the ones that are most important. And I don't necessarily believe that's the case, because you can you get a lot of talented people in the world that are not good at maths, English, and science, but they're really good at something else, and that's, that's the area that people should push them in. Not everyone's going to be a scientist. Not everyone's going to be a mathematician. Not everyone's going to be a poet or a screenwriter or something like that. So why not push people in other areas and i think that's where i found school boring because stuff that i enjoyed wasn't emphasized the main things that were emphasized were like science maths and stuff and i enjoyed it to a certain extent but not that much i i much preferred other things and they were never kind of never kind of like emphasized when i was at school but I don't know if people from the UK might know this, but there was a show on Channel 4 in the UK and uh, it was called Educating Essex. And that school in Educating Essex, and some of you are probably going to go and stalk me now, but that school in Educating Essex is the school that I went to. That is my actual school. The same teachers, everything. I recognised all the teachers in there, the same classrooms and stuff. Um, got people from America probably think, what? Or what shows this? But guys from Essex, or not Essex, people from England may know what it is. But we do a show, it's kind of like a reality TV show on real schools. And it was one called Ed Educating Essex. I know there's one called Educating Yorkshire now, I think. But yeah, the one called Educating Essex, that's the school I actually went to. That is my actual school. And it was so strange to, I think, when was it on? It was on like a year ago, maybe, or a couple years ago. But it's so strange to see the school that I went to so many years on. Because I think, what? I left school when I was 16. So, ne so now it's been 10 years. So it was like nine it was like nine, eight years when I haven't been to that school. I've never ever been back to it or anything. And just to see it, it was just really strange to see it. Um, but it was just, all the teachers are exactly the same. It's really, it, it, I don't know, it's just like nostalgia, I guess, where you can look back at that stuff. But yeah, that was my actual school I went to. So I can't wait to see all you guys stalking me. Tell me I found you. I found who you are. <laughs> you can <laughs> probably, I know a lot of you are probably going to go and do that. But yeah, guys, what what are you, your opinion on school? I know I know there's probably going to be a few people that say, oh, I got bullied and stuff like that. And I know bullying is really, really difficult for some people. I like this, guys. I like the fact it goes down. I think that looks better. Now I can do this. Oh, let's get this. I know a lot of people get bullied. Oh, no, that's war. I don't want that. Damn it. I know a lot of people do get bullied and it's very sad, but I was very lucky to never ever get bullied. I never ever saw anyone get bullied or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I never really grew up in that environment. It's like I had my friends and everyone else had their friends and no, everyone just got on with their own stuff. Have I got any snow? That's what I'm looking for. Let's go and grab some quick. I just want to put some snow across there. Let's go and grab this. Yeah, so 
I would love to know what you guys, how you guys, uh, what you, what's your view on school? Do you hate school? Do you love school? Are you same as me? Do you, you don't mind going to school? You just love the fact that you can be social or you can go to school and just hang out with your friends. That's the only part you like. Or do you like everything about school? Do you like hanging out with your friends? Do you like um, learning all the new subjects and stuff like that? What, what, let me know, guys. It'd be, I really want to know what people's views are on it because I never really asked anyone that question before. All I remember saying was when I was a kid, like I said, I hate school. That's it. And now I'm older, I'm like, oh, I remember the days at school. They were so fun. Because they were. They were the best times. And every adult says this, guys. And I remember when I was a kid and my parents would go to, they used to say to me, you, you, you're going to you, gonna regret saying that because when you're older, you're going to miss school. And I'm like, nah, I'm never going to miss school. I hate school. Da, da, da. And now look at me. I, I, go, I think back to it and I think school was actually good. You know, I, I really did like it. Um, I like that, guys. I think that looks a lot better. So, if I put this along here, I know I said this was going to be a furnishing episode, but we just discovered something. This looks good. So, what I'm thinking is this area here is probably going to be a pantry. I haven't got everything that I need. I'm thinking I might use this for, for kitchen top counters. So, for example, these might not stay where they are, guys. So, I might just put them down there for now. I might use that, then uh, I want an island in the middle, what's this, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and what does that give me, three space in the middle, that's perfect if it does, look at that, I didn't even mean that, me either. I didn't even mean for that to happen, uh, but that means I can't have nothing against that wall there, so let's try this out, probably not got enough pistons, Put that down there, and let's put three more. Not you, like that. This is so awkward, I should have cleared all this stuff out. So maybe something like that. I want a kind of fan in the middle here. And uh, and who made it? I think Krogan made it on the, on the fan server before on his boat, and I really, really liked it. Um, I'm gonna have to knock out some of these because I want this to be like the cooker here. So what he basically did, let me get some furnaces, see if I can do it. Oh, that's a that's black grey wool. Let's put that there, put that there, put that there. And then can I place carpet on top of that? Get this. That spider is so annoying guys, I know. Right, he did this. Is that right? No, I want it to be up one more, but let's try this out and see what it looks like. Maybe I'm not doing this right, but oh well. Like that. Yeah, that looks good to me. But I don't I don't think I'm gonna have wool there. Carpet is so nice though. I love carpet. This is such a useful block. Look, like that, guys. And it kind of looks like a fan above your stove when you're cooking. I think that looks really, really cool. Might, oh, no, I can't. I was going to say I might put glowstone there, but I can't. Um, that chest is so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> let's get rid of the chest and get and replace it somewhere. Uh, let's put it down here for now. Oh, I'm going to sleep, guys, because that spider is annoying me. Let's jump in this bit. Oh, it's not even night time. Should we go and kill it? Let's go and kill it quick. Spider, you must die. Where is he? There's a zombie there. Uh, he's going to jump on me any second. Oh, there's two of them. Go in the pool. Look, it's not even night time. Yeah, you go in there. You die as well. There's another one there, but he's not bothered. Right, you go in there. Guys, have you seen the new kind of shaders mod? I don't even know what it's for, but Captain Sparkles uploaded a video for it the other day, and oh my god, that was amazing. I my jaw was so like, <gasps> could not believe it like the clouds were just so realistic couldn't i never ever thought in my life i would like clouds as much as i did when i saw that video it was unreal if you haven't seen it guys go and check it out because it is crazy how nice the shaders mods are i i think it's for 1.7 Point four. I don't know. 
Uh, if it is, let me know because I'm going to get it as soon as possible. And I'm going to play with it on. It is just amazing. I can't wait to get that. I love Shaders mod anyway, but the one Captain Sparkles was using with the clouds and all the new effects that it had, it was honestly jaw dropping. I couldn't believe it. It was crazy, is all I can say. It was just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Right. Um, I don't know what I want to put on top of this should we have a different kind of surface top for it this is what I'm thinking I want to put some more of these here uh, furnaces I mean by these where are they so these are where like the cookers and stuff are gonna go so I want to put more of them there and that's where it's gonna go um, I'm not sure what to do here. I'm really not sure. Um, should we get some... Let's try white. See what white looks like. White looks like on top of these. Oh, not, not in the furnace. Hold shift. What does that look like? Hmm, I don't really like that, to be honest with you. Let's take another closer look. Yeah, I don't really like that. Um, I'm wondering if I should use pistons. What Grey didn't look that bad, did it? Let's try Grey again. Just doing Grey all the way at the top. If I can't find one I like, then I might just use regular wool, just like a normal colour. thinking a black kitchen with white tops on it that might look nice that doesn't look too bad to be honest I might take these off to represent that they're actually cookers I might put some like pressured rails on there or something have I got any of them actually how do I make them <gasps> how do I make them let's get uh, I want to make them stone have I got any stone anywhere stone 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 Oh, actually, I had some coal. Where was it? Is it in here? Yes, I want you. Stone, here we go. So let's cook that. And let's get some... I want this. Stone pressure plate. I was trying to think of the word. Um, iron and redstone. I think this is how you make it. So let's put iron down here. Redstone pressure plate. Six, nice. So, let's put these yeah then that looks like a cooker like the hob kind of thing like that and then i know i need to eat guys and i will oh no and then let's put i might take this back one and that one too just to make it even because that's going to bug me that there's a free gap there and there's only going to be a two gap there if i put things across there so yeah i might take that back one if i take that back one as well it'll be a two gap and a two gap there so it will fix my ocd problem so we can do that as well um let's put this up aha it works you can place them on there i think i might change i don't know if they both look good as gray I like it. I like it. I'm going to keep that for now. So let's dig out this wall and I'm going to waste all this snow. But my OCD is killing me. So I need to get rid of this. So the wall is going to be around here. Yeah. See, that'll look much better because you've got two gap there and a two gap there. And then the snow will just be in this wall here so i'll probably bring back that one too i need to take down the floor on that as well yeah this is going to look a lot better hopefully that gives me the same amount of snow which i took down that'd be great wouldn't it so let's take out this last bit here and then make these i was going to say make these balls <laughs> let's make these snow blocks uh right here we go that should be enough, hopefully. 40. Fingers crossed. No, it's not going to be enough. 
going to be one short. That's going to be ten short. Seriously? I took down that whole thing and it's going to be ten short. How did that work out? Oh no, it's not. What am I talking about? <laughs> I can't even count. It's going to be exactly the right amount. Do I have any more? Do I have any more staples? I want to fill this part in as well. Right, here we go. Let's do this part. I, I always think, guys, before every episode, I think, right, I'm going to be so prepared for this. I'm going to get all the stuff. I ran back to my house to get all my stuff. And still, I'm not prepared. I changed my mind. Middle of the episode, start digging out the floor. And I told you guys it's going to be a full furnishing episode. But I guess we're going to have to finish some of the furnishing on the next part. And I'm going to need to dig out some more parts. So we've got some stuff to do in the live stream for sure, so which is awesome. Because I uh, last couple of live streams, I ain't really known what to do. But now we can just work on this together. You guys can give me some ideas. I love it in the live stream when I'm building stuff and you guys are like giving me ideas. Um, I remember somebody, I think it's Victory. I think your name was Victory or VS Victory or something like that. Um, when we was building my mountain house, he'd give me so many ideas on what to do, and they were really good ideas as well. So I love building with you guys in the live stream. It is really fun. Um, not gonna have enough here. Yeah, but that does look a lot better. I prefer it like that. It looks a lot more even to me. Um, let me grab some wood. A shack on. Uh, yeah, here we go. Still not 100% sure if I'm going to use pistons or not. It looks okay. I haven't got a lot of pistons. We're running out of materials, guys. We're running out of everything. Um, let's do this again. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'll bring it around here. I'll add a fridge or something. Then it's going to be a pantry. It's going to be nice, guys. It's going to be really, really nice. Um, guys, I think... I've been recording for much longer than what I expected and again it's late it is 10 past 9 and yeah um, <laughs> I this video it needs to get rendered edited and uploaded and I don't want it to be too late for you guys especially you guys in the UK because I know a lot of you you got school tomorrow and you probably some of you probably go to bed early to go to school tomorrow so I don't want it to be too late um I won't do any more of the furnishing until we are back on camera I will just continue to do this stuff like lower this floor and stuff like that and dig out some of the basement but yeah make sure you come along to the live stream on Saturday guys we are going to do some of this in the live stream and we are going to open the creative world on the server if you want to know what the IP to the fan server is it is the chaos craft official fan server um, we all go on it me Sai, Gliss. Uh, Anthony, Conman, all of us go on it uh, every now and again. So if you want to come and play Minecraft with us and build with us and stuff like that, make sure you come and check out the fan server. The IP will be in the description of this video. So make sure it's two IPs, by the way. There's chaoscraft.mcdl.eu and there is a number one. Um, sometimes the the chaoscraft.mcdl.eu does not work, so I suggest just using the number one if you if you want to use the the letter one. You can. It's up to you, but both should work so yeah guys if you want to come on there definitely come and check out the live stream saturday i will live stream around about 9 or 10 p.m uk time i will always upload a video telling you guys when it is starting so when you see that little uh video with the funky music telling you um that i'm live streaming now that will always go up and i will be up um and live stream around that time um if you're not sure what time the 10 p.m or the 9 p.m is uh make sure you follow me on twitter because i always kind of uh, always kind of i always give notifications of when i'm going to be streaming so for example i will say streaming in the streaming at nine o'clock that is one hour from now kind of thing so if you see that you know right for one hour from now he is going to be live streaming so make sure you check my twitter regularly if you really don't want to miss the stream um even better you could go over to my twitch page and you can click the follow button and what will happen is you will get an email and as soon as i start as soon as i go live you will get an email telling you that i am live so all them ways guys you can ma make sure you don't miss my stream if you really want to watch it because still to this day as i get questions what time do you stream um it's hard to say what time i stream because a lot of people are in a lot of different time zones so the best way to do it is one of them ways that i told you twitter twitch or look out for the video that i put up on saturday 
So yeah, guys, I think I'm going to bring this episode to an end because I've got all this kind of tedious stuff to do. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in another video.